In today's video, we are going to be breaking down June Mar Fajardo. I think I said that name correctly, and how he plays in the low post. He's an absolute beast over in the Philippines. So let's get down and let's check out how you can also become a beast in the low post. Okay, so in this first clip, we have him over on that side. Let's check out this fantastic move. Okay, so first he is dribbling and posting up and backing down that defender. What he does here is absolutely fantastic. He does a quick shoulder fake towards the right side and then pushes off with that elbow. This is something that is technically an offensive foul in most leagues. However, because you have a lot of speed Space between yourself and that referee and the fact that there's zero space between you and your opponent you can actually use that to your advantage of course this referee didn't see it and that is a quick push off with that elbow you can do this as well just do not extend that elbow that is kind of the perfect amount of extension that you would want to do you wouldn't want to do anything more than that or else it would definitely be called a foul but again nice move or a nice creation of space so that he can get up that nice shot. We also have to know how to run up against different defenses and this is what they call in Canada with older players I would say roughly right about there behind the backboard against the baseline is called the Russian spot and the Russians killed Canada many many years ago before I was even born this is how I know about it is from older coaches because they would stick a player in the high post to draw up zone defenders away from the baseline. You as a massive center can get along the baseline in the Russian spot which is along the baseline behind the backboard. You can get a pass over to you and finish with an easy basket. It's all about positioning when it comes to the low post and this allows you to be able to create a lot of points for yourself and your team. Knowing how to go up against a zone defense in a screen and roll scenario is also actually quite important. And as we can see here, we see these two players who are popping up and defending the ball. You as a screener is now rolling towards the basket and if these low post players along that 2-3 zone are not defending the paint as they should be then what happens is we have a baseline cutter as well and he is not focusing on June what we have is a recipe for easy low post in paint baskets now of course that was a miss but he did go to the free throw line this is a fantastic move so he does a quick low post spin towards the basket he takes one dribble and then he has that double team coming over along the baseline they're trying to trap him along the baseline and this is what a lot of defenses a lot of good defenses will do to you as a low post player if you spin baseline the other player is going to come by and they are going to trap you along the baseline. This is a fantastic area to trap players in if you're a defender. However, if you as the offensive player know that these players are going to be trapping you there, you can spin off and get yourself an open shot in most cases and of course that can create a lot of baskets. And we see that in that clip right here. He takes that hard dribble, draws in that secondary defender, turns around and takes a nice shot. You can do this too as a low post player. Definitely go to the park and try that move out. Now this move here is actually a move that I used to love doing myself. And of course it works a lot. It works really well. Let's break down this move. So whether or not you're getting a pass from the paint or not, if you just received a pass and you get a double team on you and you are within a hop step from the basket, this is what you need to do. This is a skill and a move that every single player needs to know how to utilize. And that is as soon as you get that ball, you get that ball, you take a quick pound dribble with two hands. You're allowed to start your dribble any which way you want. You can start with a what's called a pound dribble. It's a two-handed dribble. You're not allowed to dribble with two hands consecutively, but you're allowed to start a dribble with two hands. From there, you do that quick pound dribble and you do a hop step between your defenders. 
This is fantastic. Now, of course, he keeps that ball close to his hips, but personally, I used to like keeping it high to draw fouls. You can keep it close to your, your chest or close to your stomach so that you can stay in control of that ball, but if you can get that ball above your head, it's harder to steal for one, but for two, it creates a lot of foul calls. You can get through those defenders. Remember, keeping those two hands on the ball until you go for that layup, and you can get a lot of points. Always also read your defenders. So what we have is a player who's cutting from the free throw line. You have to be able to read your defender. You have to see when that defender stops defending you. We have two defenders here because they do not want June to get that ball. They know he's deadly, but as soon as that player takes a quick step this way, and that was all brought on by a quick pass fake, you as the player, offensive player, need to cut towards the rim as soon as he takes that step this way because that's going to allow you to create yourself a lot of open dunks or layups. I hope that this low post breakdown of Junmar Fajardo, I hope I said that name right, was great and I hope that you have learned a ton from it. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.